four of five tests of Putin's Satan II nuclear missile failed. According to armament specialists and launch site satellite photos, Vladimir Putin's Satan II nuclear arsenal failed four of five missile tests, a humiliating failure. High resolution satellite photographs of Russia's Plesetsk test site's launch pad, where the RS 28 Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile crashed, reveal considerable damage. The launch silo at the Plesetsk Cosmodrome in northern Russia has a 60 meter wide crater and significant damage that was not visible earlier in the month. Ascent researcher and ISW representative George Barros released the photographs on X, formerly Twitter. On X, Barros wrote Maxer collected fresh high resolution satellite footage yesterday, September 21, that exposes the aftermath of a major launch failure of a Russian RS 28 ICBM. Russian Sarmat missile testing at Plesetsk failed, according to Ascent satellite imagery experts. As it left the launch shaft, the missile's liquid fuel engine presumably burst. Ascent analyst, Planet Labs test site satellite imagery showed total failure. The silo explosion reportedly demolished the test site and left a massive crater. Infrastructure damage may delay missile testing and need more funding to repair the launch facility. Since the Sarmat employs liquid fuel, the explosion may have occurred without the rocket launch, the fourth test of this new nuclear-capable heavy intercontinental ballistic missile failed. The only successful Sarmat missile test was on April 20, 2022. Russia has not recognized or confirmed the botched missile test, Newsweek quoted University of Cambridge Center for Geopolitics Joint Ukraine Program leader Viktoriev Davichenko. Strategically, Moscow would not want to trigger a direct confrontation with NATO due to the power shift that would result. Though unproven, a fringe belief among Russian opposition circles suggests Putin may be eager to see a nuclear clash, adding to international anxiety. Ukraine's future as a free, democratic, and secure nation depends on military might and Western diplomatic and economic integration. It emphasizes resilience, partnership, and steadfast commitment establishing Ukraine as a key participant in European security. The Russian intercontinental ballistic missile RS-28 Sarmat replaces the R-36M, NATO codenamed SS-18 Satan. Russia's strategic nuclear arsenal includes one of the world's most modern and powerful ICBMs. It can carry between 10 and 15 independently targetable reentry vehicles and nuclear warheads. The missile can reach targets worldwide including the U.S. mainland, making it vital to Russia's deterrence policy. The Sarmat can use decoys or hypersonic glide vehicles to avoid missile defense systems. IT avoids missile defense radars due to its fast speed and unpredictable flight paths. The Sarmat is crucial to Russia's nuclear modernization and strategic parity with the U.S. and other nuclear countries. This week, Ukrainian President Zelensky will meet with Joe Biden in the U.S. This week in the U.S., he will propose his winning strategy to the president and meet separately with Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump to mobilize support for Kiev, simply put, to demonstrate Ukraine's win strategy and convince U.S. and Western partners to allow deep attacks, Davichenko stated. Ukraine's victory plan relies on international partners and supporters, not Russia's readiness to terminate the conflict. This shows a pragmatic understanding that Ukraine's security depends on international collaboration and an autonomous defense, Davichenko remarked. Ukraine wants strong security guarantees like NATO's mutual defense pact to embed itself in Western security structures and protect itself from Russian aggression.